Hello and welcome to another Division video. In this tutorial I will show you how you can finish Napalm production site legendary difficulty fast and easy solo with your tactician build. Yes, it's an updated version and probably you saw already my updated versions from Warrengate and Times Square as well. And yeah, meanwhile I did an updated one of my build as well. There you will see the secrets behind this build I'm using now to run this mission. So at the beginning just go in the in cover here, focus the shotgunner down there, kill them with your sticky, throw, try to throw your seeker mines down there and just go behind this wall here. Yet there have not that many things have changed in 1.8 if you use the tactician build. Uh, the most important one is the one to the sticky. So as you see now I can detonate my sticky immediately and I don't have the delay from 1.2 seconds. That makes it a lot faster <coughs> and in my opinion easier to use. And the second thing that I've changed, you see now, I try to use my gun a little bit more often because they changed the amount of stacks you get. So now you get one stack of 1% increased uh, skill power per shot you land on the target. So that's quite a lot. And that's why I try to use my weapon a little bit more often to get my stacks by myself. And the third one that I've changed is that you have now increased stamina toughness scaling. As you see here I changed uh, some stats on my gear. Just check the video out but I have more toughness than before in 1.7. So it, sh it should be even easier to run these missions solo with attack build. And yeah, for the rest of this first part, just stand in the back here and kill these guys one by one. The reason why we don't should go in the back of these wood walls there is the shotgunners up here, these guys there, they rush you up here as soon as you walk over this line here. But as long as you stand in the back here, you should be fine. So, then let's kill these guys. As you see, that works pretty well with a sticky and seeker and just take your time and clear these guys out and as I said between uh, the cooldown you can try to get some sta stacks on you and that was a miss unfortunately or I shoot the pipe and not the guy straight and you can try to get some stacks on your skills to increase the damage or even kill them with your gun Oops, of course, as well. So, bye bye. Don't know how many are left, but not that many, I guess. And I think the trick, I did a video about aiming with a sticky as well. As you saw on the right now, I sometimes just aim with my weapon. And as soon as I would land the shots with my weapon, then I can be sure that my sticky will hit the target as well. Okay, there is this guy. I don't like to wait that long. <laughs> you don't have to do this, of course, you can just stand up there. But I know if my super procs, I really don't care because of the really nice talent on your gun determined. You get your super back so fast, that's really incredible. So that's already it for the first part. Let's go ahead to the second one. Here I change to my secondary, my other weapon, where I do a little bit more damage because I really want to, to kill this guy back there, the healer, with one shot. One shot sticky. And then you can leave the weapon as well because, yeah, to increase the damage a little bit about the shield heavies, they have a lot of health and armor and you don't need the heal back here. You should be safe. The only guy that can be annoying is the agent down there. He can shoot stickies back here sometimes. It happens seldom, but sometimes he can do it. It's a little magic but magic trick. But anyway, you should be pretty fine if you stand in the back here and just shoot your skills down and kill these guys one by one. Uh, sometimes I try to hit a shot out at these guys up there because it can be hard to kill them or just throw the seekers 
on the top here because then they usually go to the grenade as well. Okay, somebody destroyed my seekers, that's not very kind. It will be not a speed run right now. But it's not the plan to do a speed run right now. So just show you the best way in my opinion how you can finish this by yourself. Fast and easy to grind for the new gear. And exotic, of course. So let's try to get this agent down there. I missed, unfortunately. This can happen. But my next seekers should get him if they don't destroy them. Come on, I'll throw like a little girl. How many are left? Not that many, I guess. Yeah, and we did it. So then let's go ahead to the third part. Yeah, I think the third and the fourth part can be the most annoying ones up there on the scaffolding. You have to be uh, careful and watch your surroundings pretty well, especially the grenadiers. But if you do this, then this should be not that hard too, to stand up there and kill these guys. So let's try and see how it works. Just go up here on the right side on the second floor. Going covered here and then watch out for the healer. Getting with his sticky. And just kill the other guys with his seekers and sticky. So one thing you should look at now, okay that was not intended. My seekers go for the snipers as well right now. And yeah, as soon as one sniper is dead, then two grenadiers, edit ones will spawn on the top floor. That's why I spare now my... Okay, still alive. Nice. Uh, that's why I spare now my sticky bombs to hit them right when they uh, come out the door up there. To damage them a little bit. And yeah, I think I can shoot down the armor of them. But that's nice. It's much easier if you kill them or clear this area out before. And after this you can focus the grenade is much easier if these guys are down. So let's hope my secrets go now up. Yes, yeah, there we go. Pretty nice. Duck is death and now they spawn as you see. Okay, nope. I missed a little bit, but at least some damage. So now you have to be really careful about this guy. Now you see he shoots a sticky. I was aiming with my seeker. That's why I was almost a bit too late. But you see all wo always over the head of these guys when they try or plan to shoot a sticky. Or a grenade I mean. And you should immediately just jump back if you see this sign over the head of these guys. Then you should be pretty fine right now. Okay. He shot it behind me. Clever boy. He knows that I jumped behind. So the last guy and after this there is another round with two shot, uh, shotgunners with two grenadiers, purple ones on the top floor and a healer downstairs. So uh, what I do if I can is just throw my secret for the guys on the top and spare my sticky for the healer on the bottom. I have to get the healer right at the beginning and pretty happy. Messed it up, use a mess kit jump back because they shoot a grenade and this is the part as I said this can be a little bit tricky but as you saw now my sticky was still on cooldown and was a little bit laid back that's why it messed up a little bit so but anyway if my super would proc here then as I said before I would not care that much about it because I'm pretty sure that I can get it back so fast and I should be still fine. But let's first clear out this grenades up there, then it's much easier. So, next one, take care of the squad leader up there as well, he can hit pretty hard. But as next, it would be pretty nice to get rid of the leader. Yeah, we got him. And now it should be pretty easy. So the middle part, I would say, we did it. Because my health is pretty low I changed to my gun with predatory as well 
um, again and so I should get the heal back because this guy up there, up there should be dead by now or right now yeah and now I get predatory and with predatory my inventive of course inventive backpack to get full skill power and full damage with my skills And it doesn't matter if you use the map kits up here, you'll find down there at least now three materials and one is in the back, in the backpack, so it doesn't matter at all if you use them. If you have to, just use them. So let's see if it bleeds out. No. Ah, anyway. Let's give him a present and send him some seekers and then we did the part already and we have to prepare for the assault. One shot you but he should be dead. Yeah. Then let's change the side. So on this spot here, and yeah, what I forgot to mention, if I saw already a uh, guy, the previous one, then you will see I didn't change that many things on my run. So you can do pretty much the same strategy. This one here is a little bit different because this they changed the, the spawn time, let's say it this way, especially for the next wave, not wave shotgunners, so the wave after the shotgunners. But I'll explain to you as soon as we are arrived there. So first of all, just kill this guy with his skills down here. I wouldn't use my gun here too often because I see they do a lot of damage but if you want you can try and I usually just kill them with my gun with predatory to get always a heal back so now as soon as the enemy boss has got not yet as soon I guess after this veteran yeah one is already here you have to be careful a little bit more careful than now because earlier you could get rid of the shotgunners first and you have time to prepare the next wave but now the next wave will come until some of these are still alive so that's why we already prepare now and already go in the back to our secret spot because as you will see they spawn pretty fast and yeah, now it worked pretty well but the previous runs they were always earlier and it makes it much more difficult so if you place the stick in front of the store you can get the squad leader and the healer right at the beginning and it makes it a lot faster the option you have if this uh, is a little bit too uh, not complicated what's the right word if you feel not comfortable enough or it's one of the first runs you do then you can go just in this corner here right at the beginning and kill the shotgunners from back here and just use a uh, seeker mines and turret so just throw down the seekers the turret and kill the shotgunners as well from up here it works as well you could just have a couple minutes longer for the healer up there on the second wave because if he places a box and you don't get it immediately yeah then it could take a little bit more time but you will do it as well so if the, the first option is too dangerous, let's say it this way, at the beginning, then just choose this option back here and go back here right at the beginning. And here, yeah, it's almost kind of boring to stay in the back, but it's definitely the safest way and the fastest way to clear this, this part out. And it's already the fourth part, so it went pretty well so far, I would say. What you can do back here, you can use some consumables to decrease the cooldown furthermore if you want and increase the time a little bit or decrease the time you have for cleaning out the skies. This is an option you have, but yeah, otherwise I would say just take your time, relax and enjoy how these guys are getting destroyed from your skill. So now already the third wave spawn with the shield heavies. Then you should put your turret up here, because if it stands down on the floor, they destroy it pretty fast. I know it gets destroyed pretty fast as well up here, but it doesn't matter in my opinion. I just use it to damage them a little bit and get them stacked. But yeah, 
otherwise you can leave stick you just throw seekers it works as well but as you probably know i really like it to do it as fast and easy as possible so that's why i changed the turret and place it up there to damage them at least a little bit and you will see it doesn't take that long yeah this sometimes happens because there are some annoying cleaners down there on the street they are not part of the mission but they can be really annoying to shoot you up here you could throw down, throw down a speaker mine but I will not waste my speakers for this guy down there so I use the chance to get back increase the damage for these guys here <coughs> so let's see how many are left okay I misplaced my turret somehow doesn't matter my turret killed this guys this guy down there so I'm pretty happy yeah, not that many left, but some agents as you see in the back, or grenadiers, let's say grenadiers. And that's why I don't go in front right now. If there are just shield heavies left, then you could go in front and change to sticky to increase it a little bit. The speed, but you don't have to do it. So you can just take your time, sit back here, and kill these guys one by one. But I change already back to my sticky my turret doesn't shoot anyone anyway so I try now to go in front here and let's see how many are left come on don't get stuck just two shield heavies yes we got them so then grab the med kits you need I just need right now one of them and then go ahead, this is already a checkpoint so halfway more than halfway the second part is usually a little bit shorter Echo, uh, so more than halfway done okay I grabbed the aggro already, that should not happen sometimes unfortunately this happens but otherwise you can just run up here watch out for the healer have a look if you can get him right at the beginning but as you see it happens sometimes oh I'm so sorry I had to sneeze uh, it happens sometimes that there are some bugs oh it's really curious but yeah it's division there are some bugs sometimes and the guys keep aggro already although they don't see you but anyway make the best out of the situation and kill them one by one from up here this is in my opinion the best spot here because here you can't get shot that hard a little bit as you see but not that hard as you would stand behind this wood plank stair there you get shot pretty pretty hard most of the time so let's see that we can get rid of the healer yes perfect this part here i mentioned before and here you can get shot pretty hard sometimes they can shoot through these wood planks so i would rec recommend to stand behind this red carpet there yeah then let's go ahead to the next part next part you can do on different ways as well my preferred one is just go into this box here place the sticky and yes, now you don't have a timer anymore, which makes it a little bit easier. And damage them as soon as they're out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the H as fast as I would like. But the next thing you should do is just keep him busy. Because if he shoots a sticky to you, he can shoot sticky to you, and you're pretty dead. So that's why your main focus should be the the agent and after you kill the agent it's pretty easy then just throw your seeker and your sticky bomb and kill the three shield heavies out here 
Warte, das ist doch. Ich schub ihn auf der Tor. And it's a little bit more secure way. You can do this as well, uh, but I think for me personally it's not more secure. But if this doesn't suit your playstyle, then just quickly go up, grab a go, where you see to go back down and then run all the way in the back there and stand behind this wall until these guys when they come down. This works as well. But for me this version is definitely the best of all. So I think the last speaker mine should get this guy or so this guy back there. Yes. And let's visit the bosses. Reach the watchtower. And this is a little bug. I played resistance before and I still have the sign from our healer on my health bar on the bottom. That's really funny. Would be nice if I would have an immunizer up here where I'm standing now. Okay, okay, let's go. So on this part, I this usually area. just focus the guy on the top floor on the left side. I drink some water before to increase the damage against elites. It's Widow, okay. Would be nice if I could get her without her getting healed. I throw down my Seekers on this side there. Please Widow, and you see my... Oh, she healed. I don't like you Widow. I really don't like you. But as you saw, with my... Oh no, she put down the box. No. <coughs> but you saw, I got her almost in one shot with my sticky bomb. That's pretty nice with the water you can drink. But for now, because she's standing in cover and she has the box around her, I try to focus another guy first. So as I said, I really don't care which I got first, which of these agents, I just will get rid of one of them. And you can still stand on the same spot as before, you don't get burned if you stand here after you killed the first boss, and you can stand up all the time for clearing out the whole area here. Die my friend, die die die. Come on, Sticky. And you see, if you aim with this Sticky and the guy gets red, then you know you hit him. And if not, the light is now not that perfect, but now you saw he was red. And then I can be sure, pretty sure, that he got hurt from my skills. So my seekers go do your work. One is down, nice. Is another healer? Uh, an agent? Yeah now. Okay, my stick is back as well. It's now three or four shotgun of this bomb back there. So that's why I would not recommend to go down. I'll try to let get them. Nice. And as long as Redback is still alive, or you're not sure that he's dead, I anyway wouldn't go down there, because he's the guy with the sticky, and yes, you are pretty dead if he gets you with his sticky bomb. So let's try to get rid of this guy back there. The next guy is already spawned. The LMG guy. And if I kill the next one, then there are two shield heavies. And yeah, that's all. Then we did it already. <coughs> okay, too far away from a secret, unfortunately. I still have my super. Next one down. Okay, now my secret went. For one guy down there. 
I'm not a hundred percent sure if there really is every uh, shotgun on that. That's why I, for the moment, just stand up here. Funny. I didn't do any damage, but... Throw down one more seeker, and if they come back up, then I try to go down. Just be careful, use the mask kit if you have to. Watch quickly if there's a shotgun or a light still. Nope, it's not, so we should be fine. And then we can just start killing them. And use your mask kit if you have to. So now, for the moment, I drink some water to decrease the cooldown for the more because I don't get that many kills right now and of course try to get rid of Widow please no 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 yes lucky so use the kit more to get invented back and clear out the rest so it makes it a lot easier for you to grab all the loot. And you never know, could be sometimes something useful. So. And it, it doesn't cost that much time. I think just one more LMG guy up there. Give him a gift up there. Let's quickly check out where the loot is of this agent. I think one is in the back there. What you can do if you still have your super and everyone is dead, you can just change the survival link so you don't get the status effect and you can run a little faster and increase it a little bit and you don't have to waste that much time. Ah, here's another one. Go back there, Widow, with the most loot you can get from her. My little girlfriend. Come on. Now, and the last drop. And then let's get out of here. Last one and let's go out of this burning hell. Yes, that this was the legendary napalm already. Morning. Then You're I really do hope it area. was useful for you. This is the main reason why I did this YouTube channel to give some useful area. content for you and to make the life of your agents a little Morning. bit easier especially the, the solo area. ones and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it was useful as I said if so then please don't forget to give this video a like leave a thumbs up and a comment down below I do really appreciate it and I wish you Merry Christmas and I hope I see you soon let's rock it and have fun farming guys see you in the next one Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye.